Okay, so, yeah, I was gonna play through story mode, but, you know, Scott the Waz, if you watch his Mario Party video, he stated how playing Mario Party single player was like drinking alone. Doesn't really feel right to play Mario Party by yourself. So we're just gonna play through the currently unlocked minigames. And we'll use Waluigi since there's a Waluigi pinball-esque minigame. We're gonna set these all we're gonna set these guys on a card. Now, we're not gonna we're not gonna try and win all these minigames, especially Bowser's Big Blast. I mean, that minigame is just awful considering like there's a one in four chance of winning and there's no way we're gonna play that minigame over and over again. We'll see if we can win any of these. You know. How do our computers function on both based minigames? Do they just have insane RNG? That'd be pretty funny. The depth perception on this is really bad. This is, like, the minigame concept is straightforward, but epic, you know? I love the idea of playing rings. I think that's how my controller died. Yeah, I'm not using a game controller, which is, like, the best controller, so it does feel a little odd, but, you know, you gotta make do with what you currently have. So we did not win that minigame, but yeah. well, that's okay. I'm the best. So this minigame would have been epic if it wore the damn depth perception just really more slime time, alright. I'm pretty sure it just mashed the A button. <laughs> I don't like the mashing button mash mini games because they're just so monotonous and samey that there's really no reason for it more than one. What? We won that mini game and we were against hard computers, so. Do we have any other mini game? Oh, we have Mr. Blizzard's Brigade. I don't know what to title this video. It's like, I really want to get less lazy with YouTube videos. Snowballs are really scary. Dang it, Luigi won. <laughs> this minigame is rather stressful, you know. Well, it's kind of a boring minigame. Also, a single snowball cannot freeze a person. Mario Speedwagons. I love how it's called Mario Speedwagons. Mario is just so egotistical. Step on what are the rules? Those are the rules. Step on the gas when the light turns green. So it's a really
complete. Oh, you know what? We're gonna replay them in the game. Oh, you know what? This mini game is just bad. Oh, yeah, I know. I gotta win. I just that mini game is just so. I don't even know how it works, to be honest. Well, we'll use a different selection of characters because why not? Well, there's only- we'll use the other eight characters. I'll be the solo player so I can true so I can experience being the only person winning. We'll play this don't worry, we'll play this minigame again as the team. Wow. Really, Daisy? Wow! That's such a weird expression. This minigame is rather straightforward, just I'm, thinking about, I'm not sure if this minigame is good or not. It's always really hard to tell with 1v2 minigames whether or not they're actually balanced. Oh man, I was so... But now we'll be playing the team. Or we'll be I'm not entirely sure say if this minigame is balanced or not. Keep in mind, I am playing with hard computer players, so they're likely very aggressive at, you know, winning. Also, those shadows. I'm not sure if that's a, uh, yeah, obviously that's a, uh... Oh, so that's why I failed a minigame. Alright, you know what, we'll give it another... We'll give Manta Rings another shot. Maybe it's the... Maybe I was complaining because I was playing the game in a manner I was never designed to. Work. This minigame just eludes me. that different, so... The depth perception always throws me off. Okay, 
so what? Yeah, I'm Pop, okay, this mini game. Can we win against hard computer players? Let's find out. Oh no, we have to do the uh... Okay, I realize how long this video is. I'm gonna scrap it. I like how the shadows are off because we're playing in hack we're playing in a ratio that the game was never designed. Touch three soccer! Oh my god, it's this many game. It just man. Well, we lost, because I'm not going to waste my time eating all these mini games. I mean, the video is already long enough as is. You can actually add that to really Blame it on the crane.
This minigame should be very easy for the one player. Okay, I'm starting to stand correct. You have to be really good with your timing. Yeah, you know what? Well, we tried at least. Well, the game's not even going to be credit for knocking one out. Well, we're not going to win each mini game because I would. You'll soon see that some of these mini games are far too dependent. Well, actually, I don't think we unlocked. Um... Oh, come on, I forgot it was. Existing in the mini game. Well, okay, well, it's so annoying that there's no restart option. And we'll. Yeah, I didn't want to waste time on that, so we sped up the emulator. We're just trying to play through them all. Did we miss Bowser's big blast? Oh no, it must be a Bowser mini game. Man, there really aren't that many 1, 2, 3 minigames. We've unlocked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 9 of them, which is pretty slow. How many minigames are in this game? 6. The Great Deflate. This minigame just boils down to mashing buttons, so it's a fairly lame minigame. Smashing the button wins, pretty much. We're just kidding now, we That was gonna sort of a landscape, but... Finish. 
right? Or I don't know. What, what is that? This is a mini game I remember from Sparrow playing a lot because I never actually read the rules. The mini games in Mario Party have never been fun in isolation. So the minigame selection so far is kind of mediocre, but then again that we barely unlocked any of them. Change up for you. Bowser's bigger I why'd they call it bigger blast? Are they treating it like it's even Clearly they don't they wanna make it seem like something new with the barely different Change up beam is actually very fun. Mainly because you have a lot of control. Look at how terrible this game looks when you're playing with with unintentional, unofficial resolution. This mini game really does suck the adrenaline since you have to be. I don't press like LS because I was being a fool. The game sadly only keeps track of who won, I think. But this minigame is really fun because it has some of it. This minigame absolute this minigame literally blows. Like this minigame quite Figuratively and literally blows because it is a luck based minigame. It's literally a minigame you can play with your eyes closed. Watch, it's gonna be me. Watch. Well, I think it just automatically does it. Oh, oh, see, I knew, I knew it. The game just had to pull the literally. The game. I literally had to pull the trigger to get it on me. I don't know why they keep bringing this minigame back. It's terrible. Because it just boils down to pre- I mean, I guess there- I mean, it makes sense in the board game context. I think. Because it means even if you're like the best player in the world, you can lose due to the- Due to the zero skill factor, but this mini game in isolation is not fun to play at all. Wait, you can do that with the triggers? I was probably just saying things. Can't that- I'm pretty sure the minigame could theoretically go on forever. Now do they- now do they just realized? Okay, the, the mini-amps are about as good as- 
The explosion sound effect, though... That sounds like a meme, to be honest. It does not at all feel like it comes from an actual video game. It just, like, sounds like one of those YouTube videos. Oh my god, meme to death. And we don't have any Bowser Story or Egg Set or any games, so that's gonna wrap up the entire video. But yeah, so that's our daily dose of Mario Party Egg people are awarded. Said for Jamboree, and, um, oh, peace out.